Okay, so when you open up Prusa Slicer, again, just to show you that, Prusa Slicer, um, find it, that's what it looks like. Uh, tap that in, it will open up this configure, uh, this computer, and just in case you missed the first video, um, it will bring up this uh, window first time you do it, and you want to select next, and the printer that you want to choose is this original Prusa i3 MK3, not VS or anything else else okay select the 0.4 nozzle and then click next next and next and finish okay so it'll bring you up with a uh, the printer bed like looking like this now if you are printing with overhangs um, this is what you need to do so go to file and go down to import and you want to import your um, SDL file I've got two overhangs that I want to show you so I'm going to bring them both in first to show you uh, what they both look like here is the first one I'm going to just drag that over there and then I am going to import the second one and it looks like a middle overhang like that okay and there that one is okay so the first thing we should do is uh, place them on the bed um, in the right way that you want this to work. So if I was going to just print this one here I would want to try and print it with no overhang. So instead of laying it flat like this uh, So select that click on our button and select that point instead of laying it flat like that where it has these overhangs here It would be better to lay it this way around uh, so that it prints like that okay now um, if you had no option for various reasons you wanted to print something that still had an overhang um, over the bed okay like this then you would take this item and uh, you would come over here and you want to create a support now this support you can put on build plate only okay that can be on the build plate only all right, and it can gives you a warning. You can just say yes. Now, when you go to slice that and to export it, it will put supports in here for you to um, be able to print this part here. Okay. Now, let's say that you were at your item actually looked like this one here. Okay, and we're going to lay that flat like this. And this time, your overhang isn't over the bill plate; it's actually over itself here. Well, then, what you want to choose on the supports is everywhere so that will put it on any overhangs on the on the um, bill plate but also any overhangs that you have inside the actual product itself okay and then lastly if you um, think that you want to just put in the supports yourself in certain areas you can do this support enforcers only and that is about um, being able to put them in yourself. But for the moment, the two easiest ways to start 3D printing is between an item like this, where you are either trying to put it around so that there are no supports by laying it um, by laying it on this side, or if you do have some supports, um, some overhangs, you want to put some supports in there, then you would use just build plate only, okay? Or if you have this item, and you've got supports in here but not over the build plate then you'd have to turn on everywhere or it won't do these ones because it'll only do the ones that have overhangs over the build plate so after you finish that you can go to uh, slice now and then you can once it's done that you can see the supports that it adds in for both of those in fact um, it would have been quite nice to actually show you if I had gone to support on build plate only um, you might will just slice that now and you can see why um, if you're doing this item it's important to do the one that's everywhere because it's only put the supports on this item here okay and once you're ready you can export that uh, as a g-code